on behalf of the uh, our uh, president, uh, Harvey Hancock, jazz musician, and Wayne Shore, uh, they are asking us to present this award. Actually, this morning started with Irish dance. Yeah. One another uh, recipient was Baby Williams Nobel Peace Prize winner, and also several others you can introduce. Uh, also received by Nelson Mandela, Zubin Mehta, Quincy wow. Jones, Carlos yeah. Santana, Betty Williams, and Tipper Gore, among many others. And today we'd like to present the uh, Humanity and the Arts Peace Award to uh, Mayor Billy Kanoy. Whereas the International Committee of Artists for Peace, in co a coalition of artists in support of the United Nations International Decade of Peace and Nonviolence for the Children of the World, and whereas the community of artists draws its deepest inspiration from those individuals who lead the way forward, transcending the differences that divide human beings, who Chris, devote themselves daily to a heightening of the human spirit, as exemplified by your ongoing efforts to spread the spirit of Aloha. Therefore, we, the International Committee of Artists for Peace, hereby confer the Humanity and the Arts Peace Award upon Mayor Billy Kanoi on this fourth day of October, 1214. But to be presented with this award today, very unexpectedly, um, very humbly, I thought of my mom and dad, and um, I drive a lot on this island because big, and you gotta aloha everybody in person. So I think of my mom and dad, uh, who are both not here, but I believe are with me um, through much of the journey of life. When I'm not sure what to do, when I'm scared, and I gotta act cool, because I'm a leader and everybody expect you to be in there. Um, but I always think of my mom and dad. I always think that if my mom was here, what would she say? What would be her advice? If my dad was here, what would he say? You know, and it's always something cool that I imagine. Something beautiful, something simple. And I was getting that, I was like, oh. I wish my mom and my dad could see this now. Because I was such a Koloe kid growing up. They would never imagine me getting one piece of wood for anything. And I was like, wow, if my mom and dad was here, they would check if it was real, everything. Bite into this bag. But uh, so I, I dedicate this to my dad, Pilipo Kenoy, from this island. My mom, Nancy Cho McCammon Kenoy, from Kalamazoo, Michigan. And I hope I make my mommy and daddy proud uh, every day. So thank you.